Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In last video, we talked about modulation and why we need modulation during transmission. Today, we will talk about two modulation methods: amplitude modulation or AM and frequency modulation or FM. Here is the data signal wave we want to transmit. This is the carrier wave with much higher frequency we will use to transmit the data signal. In AM, the amplitude of a carrier wave will change corresponding to the data signal wave. At the highest point or peak of the data signal wave, the amplitude of a carrier wave is the strongest. At the lowest point or trough of a data signal wave, the amplitude of a carrier wave is the weakest. From the peak to trough, the modulated wave becomes weaker and weaker. From a trough to a peak, modulated wave becomes stronger and stronger. The result wave's frequency is the same as the carrier wave. Only the amplitude is changed. Here is the data signal wave we want to transmit, and this is the carrier wave with much higher frequency we choose to deliver our data signal. In FM, the frequency of a carrier wave will change corresponding to the data signal wave. At the peak of the data signal wave, the frequency of a carrier wave is becoming the highest, while the, at a lower point of data signal wave, the frequency of a carrier wave is reaching the lowest. From peak to trough, the frequency of a result wave is becoming lower and lower, and from a trough to peak. The result frequency is becoming higher and higher. In FM, the result wave amplitude remains the same; only the frequency is changed. First, AM frequency range is much lower than FM, thus AM covers much larger areas than FM. This is the reason why most news stations use AM. But AM is more susceptible to noises because noises affects amplitude. That's why we hear static from AM radio channels. FM frequency range is in a higher spectrum than AM. It can carry more data. Besides, FM is less susceptible to interference. Since the signal is transmitted through changes in frequency, slight changes in amplitude do not matter, and FM receiver can just ignore the changes in amplitude. The result, no static at all. For these two reasons, FM radio channels have a better sound quality. That's why music radio stations. Tend to choose FM instead of AM. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.